Heart disease is a process that frequently develops over decades and decades of time. Uh, studies have shown that early um, indications of heart disease can be apparent even in teenagers. So the behavior of young individuals, how they eat, how they uh, exercise, whether they smoke, those things can have an impact decades later. I think we're beginning to understand what the risk factors are. We're beginning to understand better how to modify those risk factors. But there's some things that we're lagging behind in. There's more obesity in our society. There's more diabetes in our society. And that's a setup for heart disease if we don't do something about it. The Human Genome Project tells us what makes us all the same, what makes us all have two arms and two legs. Now we're beginning to study more and more different human genomes from different people. And we're now learning about what makes us all different, what makes some of us have brown hair or blonde hair, what makes some of us tall, some of us short, some of us run fast, some of us run slow. And the great thing about that is that as we understand the genetics of an individual, we can then make therapies that are specific to that individual, treat that individual better, more specifically, and to give individuals treatments, drugs, other things that will help them and that won't harm them. There's a lot of exciting things going on in cardiovascular medicine right now. The things that really get me revved up are improvements in cardiac imaging, which are going to allow doctors to identify heart disease earlier, easier, more safely in our patients. Uh, improvements in therapies that are making patients live longer, protecting their hearts from disease and damage. And I'm especially excited about the possibility that we may have stem cell therapies that can even regenerate heart muscle, uh, reversing heart dysfunction and repairing heart back into a normal uh, state.